Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joseph Ward, and welcome to my own The Shoulders of Giants YouTube channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this channel. And that notification button, click that notification button so every time I drop a new video, you will know what's going on. African history at your fingertips through this channel. You're getting biographies of your sung and unsung heroes right at your fingertips. So tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about On the Shoulders of Giants. Well, you can learn about yourself and we tell our own stories. Peace out. Hey, what's up everybody? How y'all doing? Um, today's video, I want to talk about the importance of black history since we are still in Black History Month before this month is over with. Before I get started, I want to show off my new On the Shoulders of Giants hoodie. I got it made by Miss Amy Webster Garman with Boss Lady Designs. So, you know, her information is below. So, check her out. But I got this fly hoodie and I got more stuff coming along. So, next couple videos I do, you're going to see my, I got a couple hoodies, more hoodies coming, more or shirts and stuff I like to display because I like to display uh, my stuff as well as t-shirts of other people and their businesses and kind of show off businesses so this was made by Miss Amy Webster Garman and Boss Lady Designs and so check out the information and it's also in the description as well so black history its importance and everything that's going on around it now we all know that black history month is in February um, like uh, Dr. Carter G. Woodson created Black History Week, which was like the fourth week in February, and Black History Week expanded out to Black History Month. Now, being that Black History Month is in the month of February, which is 28 days, which is the shortest day of the year, we have to make sure it has the largest impact. But also around that, you have all these different events in February. Super Bowl, Grammys, NBA All-Star, all these awards, Daytona 500, all these different things. Um, you know, Oscars, whatever different award, probably not even Oscars, I probably just said that, but all different types of events in February. And to me, we we have our events, but we don't truly celebrate ourselves and our history and our culture in the month of February like we're supposed to. And February should also be a time that we create the momentum to flow through the entire year celebrating ourselves celebrating our history and our culture as black people in America and within the diaspora rather than just, hey man, I'm going to a black history event, going to a black history program, I'm going to put a black history program on, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to wear my kente cloth. Those things are cool, but it has to be a culture that's created. It has to be something that we live on a regular basis, us celebrating ourselves. That's why Dr. Carter G. Woodson created Black History Week, which turned to Black History Month, so we could spend the time learning about ourselves and studying ourselves, not just making it some kind of tradition to just hold some event to say to to satisfy yourself and not have that personal guilt because you didn't do anything for Black History Month. Black History Month is not about you doing anything. It's about us celebrating ourselves and learning and embracing who we truly are as people right here, right now in this reality. That's what black history is all about. Our ancestors put in work like no other for us to be where we are now. And I'd be damned if we're gonna to continue to turn our backs on the contributions of our ancestors. We cannot do that. We cannot trivialize African history and African culture, black history and black culture. We cannot trivialize it. It shouldn't just be a costume, it's a way of life. It's a culture. It's, to, it's how we get down. It's how we exist. It's why we exist. Right? It, it's stories like on the shoulders of giants. We exist to expose the stories of the song and unsung. It's a year round thing. 365 days, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You are black. You always gonna be black and you never gonna be black. So damn it, you might as well get used to celebrating yourselves on a regular basis. Stop waiting for white people to give you the permission to celebrate yourself. Celebrate your damn self every day. We built this. America would be nothing without black people. Nothing. 
Check out my videos. Check out all these videos on this channel. Subscribe to the channel. Check them out. I'm giving you stories of people who just not in America but around the world that have changed the course of history literally. If it wasn't for these people, America, Europe, Asia, Australia, all these different places, South America, Mexico, Central America, I mean, all these places, the Caribbean, I mean, places would not be able to be what they are if it wasn't for the presence of African people and the brilliance of African people. So let's not trivialize African history. Let's not trivialize black history. Let's not trivialize the efforts of our ancestors because it doesn't mean that much to us. Man, if our history didn't mean that much to us, then we trip. That means the, our, the sacrifices of our ancestors were for nothing. The deaths of our ancestors were for nothing. You mean tell me Mecca Evers, Dr. King, Malcolm X, and all the others died for nothing? I hope not. hope they didn't die for us just to be able to just say, well, we, we here, at least we ain't slaves no more. That's crazy. Like, that's, that's a crazy way to think about existing and to want to exist. We have the ability and the right to self-actualize and be who we want to be and more from our own perspective. We don't have to wait on nobody to tell us to be great. We are great. Greatness having a human experience and we just so happen to have the privilege to be black while we do it, damn it. But we got to start believing in ourselves enough to celebrate ourselves on a regular basis. I love the energy that's being created around the Black Panther. But let's continue that energy into supporting ourselves like that on a regular basis. If they do pour $200 million into that movie, well, that's we, we have showed once again what we can do. Now the question is, will we do it for ourselves on a regular basis? If another all-black film get put out that's for the culture, like the Independence Day Project, will we put all our money and our resources into it? Will we? And see, these are the things that we have to really understand. Like, I love the 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 imagery and the concept. I love the fact. I ain't gonna lie. I cannot lie. I love the fact that you got a whole bunch of dark skinned women running around doing their thing in the movie, right? I ain't gonna lie. I love that. But let's not act like light skinned women not black either, right? Let's not act like dark skinned women are more black than black than than light skinned women. And I think that's one of the things that we have to address when we have the moments and the times and but also one of the things that we can learn how to better address and how to really understand how our experience here in America has tainted the way in which we view ourselves. We view ourselves in opposition of each other. If I'm light skinned and I'm better than you, well if I'm dark skinned, I'm more African than you. And guess what? We all still losing. We're all still losing. But we're fighting to try to be the best. Um, and I have to read more, but I was talking to my homie Patrick Urban. He was telling me he was reading slave narratives and how there's a common theme of division even within the classes of slaves. Like field slaves have classes, house slaves have classes, all the different things. So I, I want to read more for myself to be able to see what he was talking about. But that talking about that speaks to that division that we have. Hey man, this Black History Month. Let's show out. Let's show some some unity amongst each other for a change. Let's take this momentum that we have from the Black Panther and roll this into the rest of the year. Roll this into the next February. Supporting Black businesses, supporting Black entrepreneurs, supporting Black professionals who are for the culture, who are for the people. Let's keep it rolling. Let's make our let y'all talking about having a, a real live place like Wakanda, uh, damn it, we can create it. Now, I haven't seen the movie. I'm going to go see it tomorrow. So I'm going to be able to see what everybody else is talking about. But we can create our own self-sustaining community. Like, I learned about a, a community here in Tallahassee, Florida called Smoky Hollow, which was a real self-sustaining community until it was gentrified. It was created around the 1890s and gentrified in the 1960s. Self-sustaining schools, churches, um, grew their own crops, a, a working class community of several hundred people living in shotgun houses and they called it Smoky Hollow because uh, Tallahassee is a city full of hills and 
Smoky Hollow was at the bottom of the hill and all the, the chimney smoke would be seen at the top of the hill. But the community was taken out because it wasn't able to protect itself. And you know I've made a video on that before about communities that were never able to protect themselves. But I had no idea that that actually happened to a community here in my city. And so now it hits home. Now it's, now it's close to home, but I'm glad I've been talking about communities that have been, in the past, we see the pattern of communities that have been built, black communities that have been built, self-sustaining communities that have been built, but have been destroyed because they were not able to protect themselves. And when you're not able to protect themselves, to protect yourself, you will not last. Right? That's one of the greatest things about black history is the nuggets that are left that we're able to learn from. So moving forward, we won't continue to make the same mistakes. You cannot keep building something and being vulnerable because we're separated. And I'm not saying Smokey Hollow was separated. But what I am saying is we do see in the past that communities that have been built that separate themselves from the rest of black people. It still happens today. Black people get a little money, a little status, a little fame, and you move away from the majority of black people. Put yourself more closer to white people and you make yourself more vulnerable. Things to learn from black history. Right? Being able to protect yourself. Being around your people is a better way to protect yourself. Right? But I just want to drop this video, man, because Black History Month to me is very, very, very important um, for us. It's a great opportunity for us to get a chance to look at ourselves, to, to, really, to really study ourselves and celebrate ourselves and enjoy ourselves and love ourselves and create momentum that will flow into the rest of the year. Create a, a sense of love, a self, sense of self-love, a sense of self, a sense of black pride. Go see the Black Panther. Support the black actors. actors. Support the black directors. Support the black producers. But take that same momentum and energy and excitement that you have on seeing the Black Panther and support black businesses throughout the rest of the year. Support black entrepreneurs. Support black, support black outlets. Let's keep, the mo let's keep it rolling. Let's keep it going. Let's not stop just with the movie. Alright? Hey man, I love y'all people. Stay black, stay proud. And you know how we do. I'll catch y'all next time.